Crypto Pirates Daily News, June 13, 2021. Latest news headlines. Ethereum 2.0 will resurrect internet technology, Amazon and Google beware. Interest from regulators is beneficial for the crypto economy, according to BlockFi's CEO. Banks will cease to exist in 10 years unless their business models alter. According to researcher Plan B, Bitcoin could reach $288,000 in the near future. Consider purchasing Cardano while whales continue to amass Bitcoin. Ethereum 2.0 will resurrect internet technology, Amazon and Google beware. Bitcoin and Ethereum are more than just a means of escape from poverty. Bitcoin is digital gold, a new store of value that will surpass precious metals' $11 trillion market valuation. Ethereum is digital oil, a game-changing new technology that enables other apps to be developed on top of it. Ethereum is catapulting us into a bizarre new internet era known as Web 3.0. It's the point just before we put tubes into our skulls and enter the matrix. I can hardly wait. Web 3.0 will actually result in a more open, permissionless internet. This is a community-run internet, not one ruled by a few mega-corporations. The technology that is most capable of accomplishing this will generate digital oil. The title Digital Oil is significant because oil powers almost everything in the real world. Oil fuels our automobiles, our homes, and our clothing. It makes the plastics from which our electronics are made and keeps our medical equipment running. Oil is the foundational material around which we build our entire lives. Right now, Amazon and Google are the closest things we have to digital oil. Ethereum, on the other hand, has entered the fray. And Ethereum is in it for the long haul. If it wins, it will cause havoc on the internet. As Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank frequently says, disruptors make investors extremely wealthy. The issue, you can't be free on the internet. The internet does not provide as much freedom as you believe. Google follows you practically everywhere you go, and social media platforms will ban you if you say something inappropriate. And YouTube develops algorithms to keep you hooked to Joe Rogan conspiracy ideas. The Mafia is Google. Allowing dozens of mafiosos to follow you around and make sure you don't cause any problem on the internet is equivalent to allowing dozens of mafiosos to follow you around and make sure you don't cause any problem. When you step out of line, though, you face an execution rather than a trial or a democratic process. You've been barred. Amazon and Google are the two firms competing over the top mafia boss. Millions of individuals throughout the world use Amazon Web Services to host their websites. While small and medium-sized businesses account for the vast majority of users, recent polls indicate that larger corporations account for at least 10% of the total. If AWS doesn't like your website, they can kick you off their platform, like they did with social media outcast Parler, whose right-wing content isn't any worse than what you'd find on Twitter. When Amazon banned Parler, they jeopardized the company's and its employees' overall stability. They could do this to everyone who utilizes AWS and with whom they disagree. That is not the internet I wish to use. Especially when you're being barred because of a personal philosophy. That is not a game you want to play when Amazon and Google begin banning you since they can change their ideology at any time. Ethereum 2.0 is the problem solver. Ethereum 2.0 is a blockchain upgrade. 
Blockchain technology is a vast distributed network powered by a native coin such as Ethereum. It enables anyone to contribute to and maintain an open source code. The mainstreaming of blockchain technology exemplifies internet freedom. It's the real-life equivalent of Ready Player One. Let's just hope that, like in the book, the rest of the world doesn't devolve while our virtual worlds grow. Because Ethereum is entirely decentralized, businesses will develop their technology on top of it. Ethereum also enables innovative new disruptive sectors like as NFTs and decentralized stockbrokers. There will be no censorship. There are no centralized companies like Google or Amazon that control everything. Only a freed web experience that will forever impact our lives. It's magnificent. The next big thing is Web 3.0. Web 1.0 marks the beginning of the World Wide Web. Web 2.0 was the era when social media apps and mobile devices took over and we were able to contact with anyone in the world instantly. Another driving force in Web 2.0's growth was cloud technology. Web 3.0 is another game changer that is betting on Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies success. Indeed, it may be more disruptive than the last two web evolutions. Web 3.0 will make the internet more open, trustless, and permissionless. Open, Ethereum is built on open source software that may be accessible by anyone or any developer community. Trustworthy, Google's motto is don't be evil. We must believe that the algorithms are working for us rather than against us. It's difficult to trust when you realize that your friend's search results differ. Google and Amazon are not decentralized organizations. They are organized crime syndicates. No permission is required to participate. The only legislation written for Ethereum is what is currently in the code. Anything adopted goes through a democratic procedure in which the community votes on whether or not it should be included in the code. This is referred to as a soft or hard fork. I'm typically negative about technology. I've considered chucking my phone into the water and traveling to Alaska to live like an Eskimo. The day hasn't arrived, yet. However, Ethereum has altered my perspective on technology. Ethereum 2.0 is a significant step in the right way. One that keeps life from turning into George Orwell's 1984, where Big Brother, Google and Amazon, rule the entire planet. The government cannot be expected to prevent Google and Amazon from controlling and patrolling the internet. The majority of our elected officials have no idea how to use Twitter. We can only continue to support technology that restores power and, in the end, makes the world a better place. Interest from regulators is beneficial for the crypto economy, according to BlockFi's CEO. BlockFi CEO Zach Prince agrees with U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren that the cryptocurrency business is awash with noise. Nonetheless, he anticipates that the clarity provided by legislation would benefit the ecology. Prince saw authorities' interest in crypto as a natural evolution of the technology, noting that talks such as Wednesday's Senate Banking Committee hearings are really helpful for the crypto sector in general. It's easy to lose sight of the forest for the trees, he said, emphasizing that crypto is an asset class that has facilitated the accumulation of significant wealth for millions of people. It has outperformed the market in seven of the last ten years, he explained. Prince remarked that the crypto industry is creating several new employment across the board, adding, this is something we want to continue to happen in America. When asked about his thoughts on the coming cryptocurrency laws, he stated that he anticipates the laws will be positive to the business. 
Regulatory certainty enables BlockFi and other innovators to continue inventing. It provides consumers and investors with the highest level of confidence in this sector. This week, the Senate Banking Committee held a hearing on a U.S. government-backed central bank digital currency, during which Senator Warren maintained a generally negative tone towards cryptocurrency. She then went on to dub Dogecoin, D-O-G-E, a bogus currency, describing it as a fourth-rate replacement to real currency and a lousy investment. Warren stated that bitcoins are unsuited as a medium of trade due to their volatility. Banks will cease to exist in 10 years unless their business models alter. Cryptography was invented by humans in order to eliminate humans from the equation. The financial world's problems, whether centralized finance, insurance, lending, or other assets, all stem from human error. For example, why is it that a dispensary cannot deposit funds in a bank? Due to poor human judgment, these rules and regulations make no sense in practice. The blockchain ecosystem eliminates the human factor. Now, technology rules because Satoshi Nakamoto was wise enough to recognize that humans must be removed from decision-making processes. I do not require clearance from a bank to borrow or lend money in decentralized finance. I only need to adhere to a set of automatic criteria. There is no bias. There is no bias against someone based on their age or a bogus score system that may be manipulated. It makes no difference what color, gender, or sexual orientation you have. The transaction will be executed if you match the DeFi conditions. Otherwise, it will not. Satoshi was astute enough to recognize the need of removing humans from the equation. Large banks will either reject your account application outright or wait for their compliance department to deny it, putting your money on hold and initiating a lengthy process of obtaining your funds. People became more astute. They recognized that you must remove individuals from the equation since, on average, they make irrational decisions. Finance that is decentralized is the way of the future. Unless and until these banks undertake a series of significant adjustments to their business model in the near future, they will cease to exist. Bank of America. America's bank. Wells Fargo and company I couldn't care less how large they are. These banks will cease to exist in 10 years if they do not address the challenges that Bitcoin addresses. Decentralized finance will catalyze paradigm-shifting ideas. Why would I deposit money in a bank and get a tenth or a quarter of a percent interest when I could invest a million dollars in a staking or yield farming system and earn up to 15%? There is no reason to deposit money with a bank in order for them to earn 6% on mortgages and 8% on vehicle loans with your money, where nobody profits except the bank. That is the primary change that will occur over the next few years, fewer people will deposit their money in banks and will instead invest in these decentralized finance ecosystems. They'll wise up and say, instead of putting this on deposit and earning money, I'm going to borrow money against this DeFi platform in lending, and instead of paying capital gains taxes on my profits because I sold, I'm never going to sell. I'm going to borrow against my stash and pay a tiny interest rate that will very certainly be surpassed by the appreciation in my staking revenue. As a result, you'll be able to borrow money against them tax-free. It eliminates practically all of the typical finance concerns that people have, such as depositing money in a bank and not receiving a return, and then being hit with massive tax payments when they make a profitable investment. According to researcher Plan B, Bitcoin could reach $288,000 in the near future. Bitcoin, the most valuable cryptocurrency on the market, 
might reach $288,000 in the next three years. As a result, after the BTC slash USD pair plunged 7% on June 12, analyst Plan B reaffirmed it. In a Saturday tweet, the creator of Bitcoin's stock to flow concept dismissed concerns about the sustainability of BTC's bull run. $288,000 is still up for grabs. It would surprise me if hashtag Bitcoin did not interact with the Black S2FX model line at this time. Regardless of the current volatility, yellow, green and blue dots will be much higher than red, orange dots. On June 12, 2021, Plan B tweeted. Plan B was notoriously nonchalant about Bitcoin's recent gains, despite falling short of the $40,000 milestone, alongside a chart characterizing Bitcoin as heading after gold. He did, however, reiterate that Bitcoin may reach $288,000. $288,000 is still up for grabs, Plan B stated. The price of $288,000 is an average value anticipated by the stock-to-flow cross-asset, S2FX, iteration, although an earlier version predicts a lower price of $100,000. Both are based on the current cycle of halving. A four-year period between mind block reward reductions that concludes in April 2024. Argentina is looking into nine financial companies for using cryptocurrency illegally. The Central Bank of Argentina, BCRA, has begun an investigation into nine fintech firms for allegedly providing improper financial intermediation using crypto assets. Companies convert deposits into crypto assets, primarily cryptocurrencies, according to a statement issued by the BCRA on Friday. These crypto assets are utilized to fund investments as well as consumer finance, with a profit as a counterpart. The BCRA has the authority to request information under the legislation on financial entities when it suspects that a person or firm is performing financial intermediation responsibilities, according to a statement issued by the central bank. The entity has the authority to order the immediate and permanent halt of the activity and impose sanctions. Bitcoin acceptance in El Salvador, according to JP Morgan, may compromise IMF negotiations. JP Morgan is the most recent source to comment to El Salvador's decision to accept Bitcoin, BTC, as legal tender. In a statement to clients tweeted by at documenting BTC, the US banking giant warned that adopting BTC as a legal money parallel to the US currency would provide minimal economic advantage to El Salvador. El Salvador's parliament approved a landmark law to accept Bitcoin as legal cash on Thursday. The Bitcoin law measure was passed with a resounding 62 out of 84 votes. In response to the move, JP Morgan's customer letter stated. Like dollarization in the early 2000s, this tendency appears to be driven by growth rather than stability concerns. However, there are few obvious economic benefits to using Bitcoin as a tender, and it may compromise negotiations with the IMF. In 2021, the government may face a budget deficit of 3.2 billion US dollars. El Salvador is negotiating a 1 billion US dollars financing program with the International Monetary Fund. Given the IMF's role in facilitating access to international finance for countries such as El Salvador, JP Morgan's views echoed similar thoughts expressed by other market observers regarding the potential consequences of using BTC. A Dutch official has demanded that Bitcoin be completely banned in the country. As El Salvador adopts Bitcoin as legal tender, a Dutch official criticizes the cryptocurrency and calls for a blanket ban to be implemented immediately. 
Peter Heiskamp, Director of the Dutch Office for Economic Analysis at the Ministry of Economic Affairs and Climate Policy, wrote an article titled The Netherlands Must Ban Bitcoin. According to the essay's title, Heiskamp provides a lengthy list of reasons why the Dutch government should immediately implement a comprehensive ban on mining, trading, and owning Bitcoin, BTC. According to the official, this could result in a price drop. When Bitcoin has no fundamental value and is only valued because other people accept it. Consider purchasing Cardano while whales continue to amass Bitcoin. While Bitcoin continues to trade sideways, altcoins with greater upside potential are becoming more appealing. Recently, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in general have been caught in a sideways trading pattern. They face stiff opposition, but they also enjoy widespread backing. A Bitcoin, BTC, perched on moss-covered wood. As a result, now is an excellent moment to accumulate. Because when this sideways pattern ends, there will very certainly be a large upward breakout. And there are individuals who are currently aggressively accumulating, these individuals are whales. At the very least, this is one reason to remain bullish on Bitcoin. As small investors with fewer than one Bitcoin continue to sell out of fear, Bitcoin whales continue to come in and acquire these coins to add to their current collections. The true opportunity here is to acquire undervalued, misunderstood alt currencies with powerful technology. These cryptocurrencies have fared worse than Bitcoin during the crypto sell-off. As a result, they have far higher upside potential upon recovery. What goes up must eventually fall down. However, this also paves the path for future higher growth potential, as cryptocurrencies with sound fundamentals resume their ascent. Cardano is on the way. Cardano is one of our favorite altcoins. We already expressed our support for this leading altcoin following the announcement of Cardano's smart contract test network. Cardano is expected to give Ethereum a run for its money once this capability emerges from the testing ground and is put into the main public Cardano network. And in the short time since we last reported about Cardano, the Cardano team has successfully published the test network's first smart contract. Cardano and the ADA token are on pace to launch in the next few months, according to IOC, the startup behind them. Additionally to all else we've said regarding Cardano's bright future, one of Ethereum's co-founders recently come out in support of the cryptocurrency. He also owns Ethereum and Bitcoin, but his backing for Cardano and other altcoins lends legitimacy to a future in which many cryptos coexist. Cardano is one of those cryptocurrencies that we believe has the potential to transform the world. IOC and Cardano are currently assisting numerous communities in Africa, and their potential to assist the rest of the world will grow considerably after their smart contracts are implemented later this year. The ADA coin is simply not priced correctly at the moment. It has remained in neutral. However, whenever the technology catches up with, and surpasses, that of other coins, there is a massive breakthrough chance. Take advantage of the crypto market's pause to purchase ADA coin at a favorable price. However, Cardano is not the only cryptocurrency that has caught my attention. Daily 10x Stock Report, my newly released service, highlights one prospective stock or cryptocurrency each day the market is open. What's the catch? Each opportunity must have the potential to provide tenfold or greater returns. The investments mentioned in this exhaustive research service are among my favorite small cap stocks and cryptocurrencies right now. Each of which has the potential to generate big gains in the next 6 to 12 months when inflation fears evaporate entirely. 
I'm referring to companies such as one that I believe might become the PayPal of cryptocurrency, an altcoin that I believe might become the future blockchain GitHub, and an under-the-radar technology business that may hold the key to developing a million-mile electric vehicle battery. Thus, what are you holding out for? We hope you enjoyed watching and listening to this video, please let us know your opinion in the comments area below. If you found our content useful, please like it and share it with your friends. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more crypto-related contents.